company approached me to do a couple of builds for them all in the same color scheme and the same general detail level and also of course the same look in the end. One of them is a Ford GT40 which will be painted in a green and yellow combination along with the other two builds as well. So let's jump into the unboxing quickly and then go into a bit more detail later on. The interior on this kit is nicely detailed, the main interior tub has some details either side and also some nice shape in general. Same goes for the dashboard, it has a lot of gauges, buttons and other details all around, even a couple of vents on the other side and the shape also looks good. The rear firewall is also nicely detailed with room for the clear part and then some more details for the chassis components and also the hood and even the door panels and some other stuff here and there. The remainder of interior and chassis parts are molded on a second sprue. All of these chassis parts that are pretty much visible are nicely detailed and the parts that aren't really that visible are not really that detailed as you can't really see them anyway. The seats are nicely detailed with a lot of small rivets in them like the actual ones have and the disc brakes also look really nice with the calipers. It does have a bit of flashing but that is easily taken care of. The wheels come pre-plated, they are a silver instead of a chrome, which is really nice. It doesn't really need any repainting if you ask me, maybe a bit of weathering, but not all that much needs to be done. The tires seem to be correct in size, they are a bit thicker as they used to be back in the 60s, and of course these lugs are nicely detailed as well. The final sprue is the one for the clear parts, they all look nice and clear as they are supposed to be and they even give you a couple different options for the side windows, which one you want to and of course which one you want to build and the same goes for the rear with or without a bubble, period correct and probably dependent on which racing version you're trying to replicate. In order to mount the wheels you get some poly caps and a metal rod for the rear ones which makes it nice and sturdy. The final piece is of course the body which is mostly molded in one piece, a couple of the detailed parts like the fuel filler and of course the lenses and all other stuff around are not molded in and the hood is a separate piece as well which can just easily be glued in before painting or if you want to do some more detailing on that front section you can of course leave it off. The panel lines are nice and crisp all around, maybe a bit of scribing but not all that much adjustment required. During the quick look through we also went over the decal sheet which mostly will not be used apart from some of the gauges as the rest of all the stripes will be custom painted on. <laughs> 